Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today I got the unboxing of this all new iPad. This one is the iPad Air. And this is the one that launched today. I was lucky enough to snap one. The model I got here is the white front with a silver back. Whereas the other choice is the black front and the gray, space gray they call it, back side. Uh, without any more delay, let's just go ahead and open this up. I've been dying to get this open all day. So this one I actually purchased using the Apple App Store on the iPhone, and it was very easy to use. I don't know why I never used the App Store app before. So opening it up, first thing you notice compared to previous iPads is that on the sides it has a much thinner bezel. But let's go into more detail on the iPad soon. Let me just put this to the side. Uh, it came with a charger. This is a universal charger. Input is 100 to 240 volts at 0.5 amps, 50 to 60 hertz. Outputs at 5.2 volts at 2 amps. Next, it also comes with a lightning cable. These are the new connectors for the Apple products. And nothing else down here. Inside this envelope contains the iPad Air button guide, iPad info, and more Apple stickers. Now let's take a closer look at the iPad Air. Silver finish. Start from the bottom here. Here we have the speakers, the lightning charging port, for the lightning cable, the home button. Now with this home button, it does not have the touch ID, it does not have the uh, fingerprint sensor. On this side we have the volume rockers, volume up, volume down, and here's the, this could be a couple of things, mute or lock orientation. On top, got the power right here, a microphone, the headphone port, nothing on this side. On the back, well, we got another microphone right here. Hmm, it just says iPad, it doesn't say iPad Air on here. But we all know that's the Air because this one has the very thin bezel. In the front, we have the FaceTime HD camera, and next to it is the opaque circular, that's the ambient light sensor. Then on the back, there's the 5 megapixel camera. I was kind of hoping that this would be like the iPhone 5S camera. 8 megapixels, f2.2, but, well, maybe on the next iPad Air. So with the, this, one, this one, right away I can feel that it's very light, easy to hold. These new iPad Airs, one pound. Now let's power this up. So this is the first power up. This one has the A7 processor. Let's see how long it takes. All right, that's like probably 10 seconds or so. It says hello, hello, okay. Now let's uh, choose my language, English, US. Let's see, choose my wireless network. Okay, so ask me now, do I want to enable no location services? Yes. I'll set this up as a new iPad. Sign with my Apple ID. Let's go next. Terms and conditions. Yeah, I agree. Agree. Hmm, sure. I use iCloud. Set this up iCloud keychain later. Sure, I'll use Siri. Don't send diagnostic. Yes, register with Apple, and next. All right, let's get started. So the operating system on this is iOS 7. The display is beautiful. It's Retina, of course. But so far, I've been using iOS 7 on my iPhone for some time, so figuring out how to use this is all very simple. Now for just a little bit of comparison between the older iPad and new iPad. So behind is the older iPad. Let's make a horizontal then. You can see how much um, how much less width it is compared to the older iPad. So it's almost one bezel length. Here's the old one, new one. Almost one bezel length difference. As for the height, they're both the same height. The height has not changed. It's just the width. And well, it's, it's a mixed. Like for my boy, for example, 
I like the thicker bezel for him. I'll just ha keep having him use the older iPads. That way, when he grabs it, his hand isn't touching the screen. The iPad Air, I believe I'll just keep this for myself. Thanks for watching this quick unboxing of the new iPad Air. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster. Bye.